All right, what's up, guys? It's Mitch or Deity, and here we are for the day nine guide. So it is day 10 technically, but this guide I'm going to cover what you should be doing weekly and daily as you sum or log in. So whenever you first log in for the day, you are going to first do your daily summon and do your pet summon. First two things, I did those off stream. So make sure you do those, claim all your stuff from the sanctuary, and then from there for daily you need to make sure you fully clear your daily mission points that is the main three things next up you're going to go into your side story not side story sorry you're going to go into your battle go to the first stage that you can find we'll just go into area i think i'm just going to do area three you can go to area one but you're just going to be going to the hoochie store so i'm going into this area because i'm pretty sure there was no battle and whichever one you find that there's no battle, since this is random every time, um, when you find one that's no battle, until you clear it again, it will stay no battle. So you want to come in and buy any charms or catalysts or bookmarks that you see within the hoochie shop. Beginning of every day, just get it done early. It Sometimes there will be a full list of really high rarity charms. So that is, charms are one of the most important things in this game that are like locked. So you want to try to make sure to get as many as possible. Second, you're gonna to go to adventure. You're going to go to stage three and you're gonna to go to stage three dash four. So once you're in here, you're going to go ahead and go in and then you are going to run up. So once you hit this crosswalk right here, you're going to go up and then there's going to be a second merchant right here, the vagrant merchant. Then you're going to check if there's any charms here. You're going to buy them every single time, every day. The more every day that you do this, you're adding progression to your account that a lot of people forget about. So make sure you do those every single day. Now, next up, you are going to want to go into shop. And for the daily thing, you want to buy this energy right here. And you want to buy these flags, especially at the beginning of your account. So once you buy those, the next thing you're going to want to do is go in and we are at weekly reset. So we are going to get sky stones. This is going to be your main way of getting free sky stones within the game. That is why I'm going to be pushing all of you to get to challenger arena. Some of you guys are already there. I saw in discord, a lot of you guys are already there. So you are going to always take these sky stones. The sky stones are going to give you more value because you can refresh shop and you will probably get the same amount of mystic metals that you get from refreshing shop and sky stones. Uh, and I'm talking about the secret shop. So once you go ahead and claim that, you're going to start burning your flags right away. You want to keep up burning flags. Um, if you're in Challenger, if you go and fight a team. So once you're in Challenger, it gets very hard for a while. So you're going to need to build up your roster. So for right now, up until Challenger, just clear your flags. Try to beat every team. If you lose to a team, just refresh and go to the next team. But if you're in Challenger, a way to quick burn your flags, if you've already done your NPC challenge, you need to fight a team and then instantly yield right when you get into the fight. And then you're going to fight that. It'll say retry. You fight that same team, then instantly yield. After you do that two times, you can do that infinite times from there. You can keep going in and yielding. You'll get less conquest points but it's a very fast way to burn your flags and you will not drop in rank past the first 20 points that you lose so if you're in challenger and you can't beat teams and you're struggling to burn your flags just start doing that it'll end up you end up getting bonuses every five flags you spend you will still get the 10 bonus so it's a way to still get an extra 50 conquest points a day off your flags and keep burning them for challenges versus just letting them sit there because you can't beat teams so hopefully you guys understood what I said there, but that is very important. That's a way to keep taking advantage of the double drops for your conquest points. Now, once you have done that, that is pretty much it for dailies. I'm going to go ahead and show weeklies. So with your weeklies, the first thing you should do is go to your transmit stone store. You are going to be buying everything with silver transmit stones. So you might be at a little rough spot with silver transmit stones for now but that is okay make sure you are buying every single item out of here every single week especially as a new player so we're not gonna be able to buy them all as of right now but i'm going to tell you how to buy more so these lesser artifacts or charms here are huge to get every week i know it doesn't sound like a lot but over a month period it adds up to upgrading a piece of gear quite a bit so once you buy all that you might be low on this so i'm going to be doing a gold guide here pretty soon so if you are low on these and low on gold the second video today will be covering the fastest way to get gold but i'm going to cover it real quick you are going to trade stigma in for penguins so as you're farming on recorded history building up stigma instead of trading in for spirit balloons for six star materials you should be at a point where you got quite a few six stars and you can sell some penguins while still working on some six stars so you can do a balance of that but in order to sell your penguins once you make them in your sanctuary 
you are going to come into enhancement ingredients in your tab here. You're going to hit arrange. You're going to click this. And for every three star penguin, you are going to get one silver transmit stone. So by trading in 100,000 stigma, you're going to end up with a ton of transmit stones. So that is one reason I keep telling you guys you should always have unrecorded history farming in the background. So once you've gone ahead and bought all of that for your weekly, Welcome. for right now, I'm going to tell you still continue to not buy the energy every day. I would wait to buy the Mulligore until the end of the week because we are going to be buying gear. So I did buy the full speed set, free set. I would not buy any of this health set. This health set sucks. Yes, it is cheap, but it's terrible. You're not really going to... You could use these pieces, but I would not bother buying these at all. This piece especially is terrible. So it's just low low rank gear. It's like the first season or arena gear that they gave. The attack set, you get so many free attack sets, I wouldn't bother buying any of this for right now. Um, this is full PvE. You're not going to be able to use this on any PvP characters unless it rolls a certain way. Same with the destruction set for now. Um, buy the speed set, and then once you have the speed set bought, make sure to save up enough to buy four pieces of the counter set so with the four pieces of the counter set you're going to need what is that 2000 2160 2160 so once you have 2160 you're going to be wanting to buy four pieces of this for when you clear chapter three and get shoe you're going to want to buy the ring the necklace the chest and the sword at first if the sword rolls high attack you can lock it and then buy the helmet and hope that it rolls health but this will give you a usable set on shoe for now, they'll give you four pieces. And then for these other pieces, we were going to be doing a crafting guide tomorrow. So with a crafting guide tomorrow, um, you will be able to possibly take some of the pieces. So this helmet has a chance to roll high HP too, and it's crit set. So, and then this piece, if it rolled high HP instead of attack, you have a set for shoe right there. Um, but we're gonna be doing some crafts and kind of showing you how to fill out your characters. And from this point, though, a lot of the gear you're going to be getting is going to be RNG and all of our accounts are going to look different. So today I did some Labyrinth and I got this ring as a drop from Labyrinth. This is a very, very good ring to get from a lab drop. If it rolls well, this is going to be a piece that I can use for a long time. So you guys will not have this piece, meaning I'm not going to touch it for now. But this is a really good piece that just dropped randomly. So you guys will be getting pieces that drop randomly that are really good, too. And in turn, right now, if you have a question on if a piece is good, you need to post it in Discord. So real quick before we cover a few more things, if you have not joined Discord, first off, we hit two big milestones. We hit 13,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's huge. Thank you guys so much. That's like 1,500 subscribers in one week. I only had 11,000 subscribers before last week. So that's a huge growth. That's a 10% growth. And I've been doing this YouTube channel. has been up for like three years for E7. That is insane. So thank you guys for all the support. If you're new and willing to subscribe, it'd be cool to push to 15K. And I think that's a pretty cool number. But um, either way, thank you guys for all the support. Second, Discord. We have reached 3,000 members in the Discord server. If you need a guild for Discord, join the link down below in the description of the video or in the top of the comments. There will be a link to... The discord and there will also be a link for ld player if you guys are trying to play epic 7 on your phone but you're on your computer all day or on your computer a good amount of time having an emulator i i promote ld player because it's worked the best over the three years i've used it but if you download through that link one it supports me two you can have an emulator running on your pc that's what i'm doing right now and you could be running unrecorded history auto instead of taking up your phone in case you want to do other things on your phone so this is a way to have unrecorded history if you have your computer on and you're out somewhere else you can come in click it click restart the hunt just let it auto farm on your pc while you're out doing whatever else and then every 20 30 minutes come back restart it so it's the best way to keep unrecorded history farming without burning your phone's entire existence so that's one thing is epic 7 playing it on my old phone for two years my old phone was struggling after a, a while it would get very hot um <laughs> it was an older phone it was like an iphone 6 i think but uh it had some screen burn from getting hot in the picture getting put in there so i just suggest saving the life of your phone if you can to the best extent and there's a free way or emulators are free so if you want to download it supports me but now next up we are going to go into but either way thank you again for 13k subs and 3k members in discord we have 500 new guilds in the discord or not 500 new guilds we have enough guilds that we've gotten 500 new players or existing players if you're an existing player you can join the discord and get in our guilds too but it's insane we have 25 guilds that are I think pretty much all completely full. So we are going to be trading in for charms here soon. Sorry, back to the guide. Next up, we are going to be doing crafting tomorrow. 
So within here, you are going to be doing this every week. You're going to be doing the charms. You're going to be trading in. But for right now, we cannot do that because we haven't done the crafting section, which is okay. So now we are going to, there's a reason I was in there. So we're going to make sure you are trading in for these every single day up into the crafting video. So trade in your lower rarity materials for the max you can do every day of the highest rarity of each type. So you want to make sure to keep trading these in every single day so that whenever we do our crafting session, you will be able to do more crafts. The point, or the, we're going to get to Banshee here soon too. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you are clicking in to watch Banshee, but we are going to get to Banshee, but I'm showing you guys what you should be doing because it is Monday. If it might not be Monday when you're watching this video, it might not be reset, but this will kind of teach you what you need to do during those days. So make sure you're coming in here getting all that then you're going to go in i'm not going to do it for the guide but you need to trade in for the max of your dark steels and you need to trade in for the max of your abyss straight claws so once you have done with that that is a daily thing to do until you run out of resources next up we have our guilds this is what i was talking about our guilds are insanely active so we have buffs up 24 7 and we are buying the chests every single week so the captain chest we bought it already and we have been buying the 50 energy from this a day and we're starting to get to a point where we can almost buy the 30 energy from this some of the guilds were created a little bit later so they'll be a little bit behind but see i didn't even log in yet and we're already almost to the second <laughs> we're almost up to a thousand points and it's monday it's the very beginning of monday so we are getting max rewards every week in all these guilds probably forever because if anyone is inactive we are going to kick them and if you haven't logged in for two days, we will kick you. And you, if you want to keep or try to get back in the guild, say something came up in life and you didn't tell anyone you're going to be leaving, then you will get kicked after two days, no login, and you will need to go through the process of rejoining one of our guild discords. So if you are interested or join the discord, type in the global recruitment chat and you will get picked up. Now, world boss, this is a daily thing. Every day that this is up, you need to make sure you do it. So do it's always worth it, even though you're not getting high points for it right now. You have the chance to get these drops so these drops are huge they're drops that come out of equipment conversion chest box so you want to make sure you're trying to get that at all times i did end up getting a crit damage font yesterday from doing it which is huge any right side um fonts that you get is what they're called or founts i guess they're founts i thought they're fonts founts that you get are huge for progression of your account so make sure you get that and then a guild war every monday wednesday friday make sure you do your guild war even if, you, if you're a new player just go in pick a team if you can't if it's a strong guild and it looks like you can't beat them so this is a strong guild so for our guild war we're just going to look at this guy we're not going to be able to beat him um especially if you're very very new so for new players this is what you should do you should go in pick one character each the second it starts click the right hand corner yield Make sure you do this. If you can, if you're fighting a strong guild, go through and look and see if you can maybe try to beat any of the teams. But if it's a strong guild that has all 60 characters and it, it, you're already getting stomped, just go do this. By doing this right here, whenever you're fighting a guild as a new player, if you're in the first two weeks, you're like, you de we're never, we're never going to beat those teams. So you will see you get zero, but you get 10 commander armbands. That's going to be 30 commander armbands per war instead of if you're too scared to attack and don't use your attack, just go in and do that. Make sure you use it because it's going to add progression to your account. Every single one of those that you get is huge. Make sure you're donating gold every day. And from, uh, from your aid, make sure you're requesting, I would just say request wyvern claws, but request, do not request catalyst. You will be kicked from the guilds. Request a hunt material of the highest rarity you can this is the most efficient way for your guild or for your guild and all the members to earn brave crest now with the brave crest shop we're going to go into the member shop now so you guys will need to know what to buy every week with your currency this i will be telling you to save up for right now you want to make sure to get all the commander armbands you can we just got 10 from one attack in guild war if you win your attack in guild war i think you get like 20 or 30 or you get quite a bit for every win but if you have to lose the fight then just get the 10 because these are hard to get. These artifacts are all, this one's not that great. Proof Valor is amazing. Symbol Unity is amazing. This is amazing. Guide Decision is okay. And this is amazing. These artifacts are amazing. So you want to make sure you're getting that. And you get that by donating Proof of Courages every single day and doing Guild Wars. And also when people use your World Boss team, you will get some from that too. So make sure you're doing World Boss because that's going to be giving your other guild mates Commander Armbands and it'll be giving you some too when they use yours. So make sure you do World Boss. It is 20 stamina and entry. Now, from this, you are going to be buying the Molagora every single week. We are going to be buying all. We are going to be buying the equipment conversion box every single week. So that's a sword fount. So that's going to give us a high rarity sword for later. 
and then we are going to be buying these every week and see we got an epic catalyst from that for 180 you have a chance to get three epic or three epic catalysts every single week next up we will be buying this labyrinth compass every single week because you want that and then any leftover you have after buying everything i just told you you will be buying lesser artifact charms this is the only way to get artifact charms so guilds are one of the most important things in the game i always tell everyone that epic 7 is a community game if you are trying to play Epic 7 without being in a Discord or having any kind of communication, being in an active guild, you are not going to enjoy the game nearly as much as you would that if you would join and try to treat it as a community game versus just a game you play on the side. You probably won't stick with the game. So if you want to actually truly experience Epic 7 for what it is, treat it as a community game. That way when you get a cool summon, so let's say you're going to summon for ML Landy, and you get it, you have people to share it with that are going to be excited for you. We did not get her. I am upset. So, from there, if you're curious about summons, I talked about in the guide yesterday. But now we are going to be going into our Banshee team. So, with our Banshee team, this is what it looks like. You have the option. So, you're going to be finishing Falconer Clary's Specialty Change. One note, if you're doing Falconer Clary's Specialty Change, if you're to the Trial Mission... Once you get in a trial mission, hit auto, but then click on Blaze Dingo to where the red circles around, or not Blaze Dingo, but Dingo, the fire character next to Sid. Click on him, it will clear it much easier. If you try to hit auto, a lot of, I think you fail like 80% of the time if you don't do that. So if you're having trouble beating her thing, you need to focus killing Dingo first. And once you kill Dingo, it just ends. So flurries, especially change the trial battle. Hit auto, click Dingo, make sure there's a red circle, then all your characters We'll focus Dingo and you're good to go. So with this, we are going to be using Destina, Spectre Tenebria, Falconer Clary, and Vivian. So I'm going to be putting my face cam up here because we're going to be showing stats. Now, one option you can do, we I tell you guys to use Destina because we want to work on six starting Destina and getting her ready for our PvP teams anyway. But if you do not have Destina ready at the time you can use your tamarin in that slot instead so feel free to use tamarin in terms of this i only have vivian five star i have falconer clary six star and i have spectre tenebria six star now i'm going to go ahead and go in and look at these stats for you all so i went ahead like i said and bought the speed set from the arena shop so buy the speed set from the arena shop you're going to end up putting this on probably destina after we end up finishing this um i will go back with in the video later today and show you guys how my account is geared once we have all three hunt challenges complete because I will be re-gearing a Wyvern 13 team now that we have all the new gear that we have gotten from feed or finishing these challenges. But you will buy all this and this, and then this is how she looks. Now, Destina, I went ahead and put Raz's gear on Destina for clearing this. There, You will likely have a free gear removal ticket that you can use to if you don't want to spend the gold to move gear. So we are only beating Banshee 13 once to finish the challenges, and then we'll go and farm Banshee 11 for 20 time to finish the other challenges. So this is going to be the Destina for today. Tamarin will work in her spot for the first clear. You won't normally use Tamarin in your Banshee team, but for the first beating at one time for the challenge, it is fine. This is my Spectre Tenebria. She is going to be on these this gear i'm actually going to switch this piece of gear onto her for a little bit of extra stat for today it makes her crit chance lower but she gets extra attack so let's go ahead and put this on her for today for this portion and i will show you how to beat it here coming up in a second we have cleared up to banshee 12 with this team with the spectre debris on the worst boots but then lastly so we had falconer clary lastly is vivian so in terms of skill ups though with falconer clary um, in her awakening tree, you do not have to worry about her skill tree yet. If you have, if you want to, you can start working on it. But we have a lot of characters that are going to need runes. And if you do not have a proper rune pet, it's not really as valuable to start farming runes yet. So you, the biggest thing is we're just getting the characters ready so that once we get the opportunity to efficiently farm, we will tackle that. As of right now, you shouldn't go in and do this because you still have new player buffs. 50% extra EXP or whatever it is, 30% for new players for 10 days. You should still be farming unrecorded history. You should not be trying to do this. You should be farming unrecorded history and pushing story. There are buff events within this game that drop double runes. So we are going to be getting a double rune drop at some point, and that is that, that day is when we're going to go back and tackle all of our specialty change units. Instead of doing um, AP buff during that time, we'll probably be to a point where we don't need to do AP buff, and we'll put a lot of resources into finishing our characters' skill trees. But right now, farming without a pet bonus and without the any kind of extra bonus of spirit runes, it is a terrible farming experience. So don't worry about doing her tree yet. We just needed to get her to a point where her specialty change was done, and we could start working on another one. 
So lastly is Vivian though. So here's the Vivian gear. I went ahead and just put her on the speed set. Her crit chance is terrible. We could make her better, but I wanted to have her speed somewhat decent. Um, we could go ahead and put her on an attack set, but uh, let's just see what we can do. So let's go ahead and put her on this set. Uh, what has this piece? That's more damage. All right, this piece is way more damage. So we just try to find the best gear you can put her on in terms of an attack set. And then from there, we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put her on, I guess, these boots. Both of the boots are kind of bad. I guess we'll put her on these boots because they have speed versus these boots have effectiveness. Because Vivian does not need effectiveness. Now we're at 85 crit, way more damage. We lost 27 speed, but it should be fine. So we'll just go ahead and do this build so we get a little bit more damage now that we're trying to do the 13th stage. But the speed set should also work for this. So just know going into this, it might take a couple tries, but I'm going to teach you the mechanics. And we will be coming back and building a Banshee 13 uh, team within a few days. It's not really a high priority rush. I know some of you guys are falling into the trap of listening to certain people that are like, you can just farm Banshee 13. You can, but it's less efficient, and I'm going to advise you in this guide not to focus on it right away. I know some of you might have pulled ML Landy, and you're wanting to get her built as soon as possible, but the thing is having ML Landy built without other supports built is not going to be very good for you. So going into this, I'm just going to let it auto for at first, and then we are going to take over and start manualing, and I'm going to try to show you the goal of this. So Spectre, Tenebria, and Vivian are both on Daydream Jokers instead of Taga Hells for Spectre, Tenebria, because we are wanting to get the extra bonus damage whenever we are going into our soul burn stage. So uh, you'll see that in a second. So if you're having trouble with Banshee 12, you can use the same uh, strategy going into it. So all in all with Destina, she is just here to try to make sure that we can remove the poisons from every or from all of our characters. Um, Tenebria would, g it's not Tenebria, sorry. Tamarin would give us a little bit extra. So since we have no poisons yet, we're not gonna worry about using her skills i did skill up vivian's skill three to be on one turn cooldown so there are two poisons so now we need to remove both those poisons putting destina on um wonders potion vial could help with this too but now we are to the point where i'm gonna go ahead and boost up vivian because we are almost at the damage threshold so once you get to this point and you reach 30 percent damage done to it the banshee is going to transform and then it's going to hit all your characters and then now it it splits off so once you're in this stage these will poison you too so you want to save your destina s3 for when oh well, okay uh, you want to save your destina s3 for whenever you are getting out of this portion after you have a bunch of poison because you want a full cleanse the problem is every time you kill one all of them get a cr boost so they will all get a turn right once um, that happens. So we're just going to go ahead and take a big chunk of the debuffs right now. And then we're going to go ahead and give ourselves immunity too. So timing your immunity is huge because then you can't get poisoned during that time. So now Falconer Clary is starting to get a little lower. The problem here is Falconer Clary may end up dying. Spectre Tiber is nice because if you time your things right, you'll end up being able to kill two at one time. The problem is if Banshee hits a non-grass unit, she also heals, so there's going to be some RNG, and as you see, I just got resisted on my debuff there. So things are not going very smoothly with this run, but we are saving souls for the perfect timing um, that we can do something, or do our Spectre Tiber soul burn. So for right now, we're just building up all the souls we can for this first clear. Now we have to wait four turns for our Falconer Clary to be back into her skill. And we're going to be trying to battle off the poisons the entire time. Luckily, your Destina will have a chance to resist the poisons as well as your Clary, or all your characters will with 15% technically. But we're going to be trying to get back into Vivian S3 as quick as we can because we want to, we want to get our attack buff up at the same time that we get our... Okay, so Falconer Clary is starting to get quite a few extra turns i'm gonna go ahead and rip s3 here for extra soul gain even though uh you have the chance to poison wait can you poison this boss no it's immune to poison the lower one so now we're gonna go ahead and put up vivian's skill because we're getting close to the chance that we can burst the boss down so falconer clary is one turn away from being able to use her s3 okay so this part is going to be kind of annoying we have immunity so it's going to block the second hit 
from putting the um, big debuff on us. I'm going to go ahead and heal our Spectre Chinibu right here. Boost her up a little bit so her CR bar is in a better spot. We'll S1. And then from right here, this is where it gets down to a little bit of RNG in playing around and doing multiple fights. So we're at a point that we can try to, we have enough soul burn. We have everything we need to try to get into the next stage. But the problem is once you get Banshee down to 40% HP, we missed it again. Our Falconer Clurry has like 60% effectiveness. It's a little rough. You can soul burn Falconer Clurry to guarantee that you land it. But that is just really, really, we're getting really, really unlucky. We've missed both and we have, I think, over 60 effectiveness. So once you get to this point, we have attack buff, we have everything we need. So we're going to go ahead and try to burst it down even without defense break. It's going to be the best we can do here. And this is the point where normally you would be able to just absolutely or just completely wipe it. But it looks like we were not quite there. We can finish out the rest of the fight and maybe be able to beat it because it's going to transform again. But our destiny... Oh, it didn't transform. I thought it transformed twice. Okay, maybe this is going to be easier than I thought it was. So our Destina has her skill 3. We can fully cleanse everything. The thing is using uh, Tamarin. You can use her idle form there, and you're going to be getting dual attacks even better. But the problem is here, if it hits Spectre Tenebra at any point, it's going to heal itself, which is super annoying. But we are we are looking pretty good now. So Falconer Clary can go. I think we have our S2 on our Destina. We have Soul Burn on Spectre Tenebria. If we can boost up above, we might kill right here. It'll be close. One thing, if you are struggling, no, it's not enough. So you can boost your Daydream Joker up a little bit to get some more damage out of Spectre Tenebria. But see, it healed 5,000 right there from hitting me. But we are going to end up clearing it. There, There's a way to burst it down. But as you see, this boss is much easier than Golem. You are not getting defense broken. You're able to keep cleansing. And it's, it's not too bad at all. So now we are to the point where we can just probably skill 3, skill 1, and it is cleared. But Banshee is much, much easier than Golem for clearing. This run did not go smooth at all, and we we're still able to clear. So now that we are to this point, we also got a boot. I'll upgrade this boot, probably. Yeah, I'll upgrade this boot, and if it dodges flat health, I can probably make it work for something, especially early game. So that's kind of nice, actually. It's not a good boot at all, but there's a chance it rolls well. So now that is beaten. So that's it. We're done. Banshee, we're, we're done with all the hunt challenges. So going up into here, you should be looking at your things. We have all our bookmarks. We're going to do our summons for this video. And then you need to go into the other hunt portion before you ungear this team and put your gear back. And you need to make sure to clear Banshee. I would go into Banshee 11 and just auto it. Uh, you should be able to beat it on auto with that team. So Banshee 11 auto for 15 more runs, and then you will have this all completed, and then you can ungear your Banshee team and just try to finish up these last couple challenges. And then we're done with hunt challenges. These are gone, but we got our three attack sets, our three HP sets. Next video, I'm going to be going over a bunch of different things. I'm going to cover that real quick. But you want to make sure in your Molagora challenge, you are too hard mode now. So by doing all those, you should be able to finish up the Molagora challenge, uh, the one before this one which was finish up, I don't know, whatever that was, but you will end up getting these challenges, which give a ton of good rewards again, but you're going to be getting the chest from the last challenges that we are going to be using tomorrow for our crafting guide. And you want to make sure you have all of them. It's 10 of these chests and it's, you can claim 700 materials of any kind. So it's equal to 7,000 total materials of whatever we end up deciding to do, but do not use those yet. If you did, it's fine. We'll, I'll show you what to craft, but make sure you have these boxes from the past Moragora, Molagora challenge. So now the next specially changed character I'm gonna tell you to work on. We're gonna go into recruit. Now that Falconer Clary is done, you opened up another space. We need to be working on Hazel. We need to be working on getting these 150 hunts. And that is going to be part of the next video as well. I'm gonna show you how to rebuild your Wyvern team to be a more consistent, better team than what we used before. Then I put on Lorena. Lorena is good in a lot of PvE content. She's going to be used in some Abyss stages. You don't have to have her. But I think having her geared up will help us a lot just to have a consistent character on some of our PvE, like Expedition teams and things like that. So I will be showing Expedition teams in the next video. I'll be showing gold. I'll be showing the next pet you should be working on. But I'm going to go ahead and talk real quick about specially changed characters. The specially changed characters you want to work on are going to be Lorena, Hazel, Montmorency is good to do. I just didn't want people to prioritize and work on her early when we can skip her and have a better, faster playing experience. But Montmorency is good to have. Alexa is okay. Carmen Rose can work on, but I wouldn't prioritize it at all. If you get Airwell, she's very high. 
And then other than that, that's really it. Doris and Phyllis are okay, but Wanda, the Church of Il Rios Axe, Jenna's pretty hard to make work. Glenn is pointless. Rima's pointless. Carmen Rose can be used for some PV. Pearl Horizon's terrible. Helga, we, you don't need it any reason. Butcher Corpse is not usable, really. Carrot has fallen off very hard, but she's still okay. Rickerus, do not bother. And Ruza, do not bother. So I went through that real quick. Some of you guys are asking for that. But... Now we are going to be talking real the end of the guide or end of this part of the video. Make sure to be doing your abyss every day. This is part of the daily login routine. This just got pushed until the end. So make sure to be clearing at least three stages. But if you can clear five stages by trading in one leaf for two more entries, keep doing that. Once we get to a point where there is a boss that's hard, which I think um, this boss may be one that's kind of challenging. It's whatever the says one is. You have to bring characters that do not debuff. So we're going to be trying to come up with teams. I'm going to be showing you what to do for that. But I've already have you guys working on the characters. If you're following the guide, do not try to work on everything I'm telling you because I'm telling you to work on them for a reason. We're going to be using all those characters and different things. So please follow it to the best you can. I know you're starting to get some five-star characters. You're getting excited. You want to start working on them. Trust me. Let's get our PVE team set up first and clear as much of abyss before we start worrying about pvp but i'll tell you right now if you get to rank 60 and try to go into rta for the next week you're going to get obliterated you're not even going to have any fun at all but just keep following me i will get you there just be somewhat patient and um, we're going at a very very fast pace a lot of people who played epic 7 for three months are coming back to the guide and saying this account's already better than my three month old account so do not be super worried about rushing and like trading out characters. Like someone said, they pulled Kisei. Can I trade out for a Wyvern unit? No, Kisei does not debuff. Just because you pulled a five-star water character does not mean it's going to work in Wyvern. So just keep following, keep following what I'm doing. But make sure one last thing to tell you to do today is make sure you are clearing Labyrinth every day because you want to be getting agent coins. Now, Automaton Tower reset today for those of you that are looking. If you click this, you need to enter the... You have the option. If you want to beat level two today, you can. It gives you some charms and everything. Um, but if you're willing to wait until we get to... So Automaton Tower resets every two weeks. If you're willing to wait until we get to Abyss 80, which you saw we're on, I think, 462, that is four days from now, you could do level three instead. And if you wanted to wait until Abyss 100 to do level four, level four and five are the best. Five is the best by far, but four gives you um, T88 chest. So getting the T78 chest, you're never going to use this gear. I'll tell you right now, if you're using this gear, stop, and you're never going to use this gear. But if you're willing to wait, um, so floor 80 is going to take four days, floor 100, is going to take eight to 10 days. And this is around for 14 days. So you don't have to rush and do Automaton Tower right now. You can wait until we clear higher in Abyss and you do higher levels and get better rewards. We, we will be able to beat any level we, we challenge if you keep following the guide. So it's up to you if you wanna wait. If you don't get to Abyss floor 100, you just watch and it'll say that it's going to be leaving in one day and just beat the highest level you can. But don't feel like you need to rush that right now because we will get more value out of it if you guys wait. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some summons of what we just got so you guys can see my luck and that will be it for this part of the guide next part of the guide though i will be covering pets i'll be covering most efficient gold farming i'll be covering yeah, the, the stuff i said in this video is what i'm gonna be covering it's a lot so all right here we go let's do some summons this should be fun all right four star out of a three star token nice there's gonna be lots or rin it is rin hey, did not have her yet that's nice i guess i didn't, probably won't use her at all so character we don't have again, might spark, nope. Okay, Laya, I don't even know what she does. She's one of the newest three stars. All right, another three star. We're getting no five star luck out of the three star ones yet. Another four star though, that's fine. Uh, this is gonna be Armin. So Armin is possibly gonna be able to be used for anti-cleave, depending on the other options we get. And then this is going to be probably the other. No, it's just Armin again. I, that might be the only one you can get. So now we're four to five stars. Hopefully we get Rowana. Oh wait, another new character. Pergus. Yeah, Pergus. All right, please give me one five star. All right, Sparkle. S Sparkle, don't just turn gold. No, it's a four star. Leo, so Leo can be used for Banshee one shot. If any of you guys are trying to set up Banshee one shot with uh, Biken, he will be a character that you will use for that. All right, give me one five star. Wow, two of them didn't spark in a row at all. All right, give me sparkles, not just gold. No, 
Okay, another Pergus. So no five stars out of that. This account luck continues to be absolutely trash. But that is all I got for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, we just hit 13K subs. If you're looking for my account level, I'm rank 62. One thing is your rank does not matter. Your rank, the, there is no way to rank up fast. The only way to rank up is by spending stamina. So I will be coming up with the second part of the guide later. But for right now, you need to finish farming Banshee for the challenges. The, just do Banshee 11 to complete the next 15. And then from there, you can move your gear back to your story clearing team. But I will be doing an over like all around account overview later today for day nine, as well as going over other things. So I will show all my characters how I have them geared. And you guys will be able to do kind of a checkpoint to see how your account's looking in comparison to mine. So you know whether you're at, at a good spot or not. But that's all I got. Thanks again. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.